Hey guys, Matt here with Savvy Land. It's got a great 40 acre property in Brewster County, Texas to show you today. It's out in Big Bend country. Here we are at the good old US of A. I'm going to flash the pin for you so you can see where it is in West Texas. There you go. Over there in West Texas. I'm going to start scrolling down so you can see the property a little better. And as we go down, we're going to turn on roads. We're also going to turn on all the parks to show you all the parks and roads around this area. So as you can see, this property is nestled right in to the western border of Big Bend National Park. And then over to the west, Big Bend Ranch State Park. So you've got Big Bend National Park to the east and southeast and Big Bend Ranch State Park over to the west. I'm going to keep coming down here a little bit. I'm going to turn those parks off. So you can see things a little better. Highway 118 is going to be the main highway running through the area. It's over here to the west. In order to get there, you really just have to drive a short distance over to Terlingua Ranch Road, and then you drive all the way out on Terlingua Ranch Road to um, the property, or sorry, to the highway, to Highway 118. So we zoom down here a little bit. I'm going to turn on the outline of the property and the corners of the property as well. So you're going to see those right here. So you have Terlingua Ranch Road to the west over here, and then you have Marathon Road to the east over here. Now, what you might be thinking right now is that, oh, there are there's no road going to this property. I don't see a road leading to it. So what's happened is that this satellite imagery is old. If you look down here in the bottom right corner, imagery date is January 9th, 2017, there's been a new road bladed into this property. So I'm going to show you that here on Google Earth, and then I'm going to show you that on drone photos as well. So I'm going to turn off the road so we can see all this a little better. So here is the new access road between Terlingo Ranch Road to the west and Marathon Road to the east. That purple line shows it right there. So there's a brand new access road in there. And if you want to see directional headers, you've got to the west, Terlingua Ranch Road, and to the east, Marathon Road. To see all of the measurements of the new access road going in here, I'm going to turn on the lengths here. So you can see it's point, well, from Marathon Road to the east, it's 0.54 miles to the northwest corner of the property. So it's not to the northeast, it's to the northwest. If you want to get to the northeast, we can simply pull a, pull a measurement here and see how far it is. It's about 2.9 miles off Marathon Road. And it's about 0.66 miles off Terlingo Ranch Road. So you can see there's uh, 0.13 miles you turn off Terlingo Ranch Road and then to the east, and then you take a turn to the southeast, and you continue for about 0.53 more miles, and you'll get to the northwest corner of the property. So if I turn off some of these, you can see these lengths here. So 0.13, if you're coming in from Highway 118 off uh, Terlingo Ranch Road, or you're coming in on Terlingo Ranch Road off Highway 118, you're going to take a left, because you're going to be coming from the north here. So you take a left onto this road right here, which is shown in pink. Proceed for 0.13 miles. And then you're going to turn to the right or the southeast and proceed for 0.53 miles to the property. And if you come in off Marathon Road, to get to the northwest corner, it's 0.53 five, four miles, but then again, to get to the northeast corner of the property, it's only 0.29 miles. All right, so what else do I need to show you here? I wanna show you where this property is located. Or actually, let's let's look, at, let's look at the views in all the directions while we've got it up here. All right, so I'm gonna spin this, spin Google Earth here and show you uh, Google Earth views in every direction. So now we're looking straight to the north right here. Now we're looking to the northeast. You'll see there's tons of mountains in this area. When we get to the drone footage, you'll see all the mountains. Now we're looking straight to the east. 
southeast. South. Southwest. So if you see down here in the uh, Google Earth footage here, you see a, the, a linear line, a, a line right here that's just very straight. That is the airstrip on Terlingua Ranch Lodge or at Terlingua Ranch Lodge. We'll look at that in a second here. So there's Southwest, West, Northwest, and back to the north. So if we turn back and look at the Terlingo Ranch Lodge area, it's just right down here. So this main road right here is Terlingo Ranch Road, and it comes all the way down here to Terlingua Ranch Lodge. So at the lodge, you're going to have, oh, let me try and get these in sight here. So you've got um, obviously the airstrip that you can see here, you can fly a plane in there, and you've got the Bad Rabbit Cafe. So here's the Bad Rabbit Cafe. You can go get some food there. You've got all these little buildings up here to the left are cabins you can rent. As a property owner in Terlingo Ranch, you get a discount off nightly stays there as well. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Let me turn on photos. See if we can get anything else. So there's some photos here we can look at too. There you go. That's not the ranch, that's Big Bend. Um, I think that's all I'm seeing right now. So from Terlingo Ranch Lodge here, and again, that's Bad Rabbit Cafe. There's also a pool, there's laundry facilities, there's a walk-in freezer for um, hunters for game. Um, there's camping sites up here for tents and RVs on the uh, what side is that? The east side of southeast side of the cabins. So then we're going to go back to the property here. So to get to the property, we're just going to head a little bit to the northeast. It's a couple miles, and you're back to the property. So just to show you about how far it is from the property to Terlingo Ranch Lodge, at least as the crow flies here, it's going to be. I'm just going to take it from the southwest corner to. The general area it's about 3.6 miles so if you're following the roads it's probably about four four and a half miles down to the lodge quick little drive not bad at all all right so if you're wanting to know where this property is in brewster county or where its location is in brewster county i'm going to show you that right now so Brewster County outline, that is the Brewster County outline right there. And the property is right there, kind of in the southern portion of um, Brewster County. The closest city is going to be Terlingua down to the southwest. And then if you go north on Highway 118, you're going to get to Alpine up here. All right, let's jump into some drone footage here. So the first video I'm going to show you is going to be where we take off or where the drone photographer takes off from um, Terlingua Ranch Road, which you'll see in a second. So here it is. Here's Terlingua Ranch Road. And this is looking uh, south towards the ranch or southeast right now, but towards the ranch uh, lodge that we just showed you. So here is the the um, property, so or the the entrance to the property. So if you remember, I'm gonna pull up Google Earth real quick and show you this. If you remember, this road right here that starts going this way, if you follow my cursor, takes a right and then takes a left, was not shown on the satellite imagery since it was from 2017. This road was recently um, recently bladed in. So what we've got here is. The property is right there and access, the new access road is right there. So this saddle or this uh, drone footage right here is looking from Terlingua Ranch Road right there, the paved road. Let me turn on roads for you. There you go. So now you can see it's Terlingua Ranch Road right there. And it's looking this way. So you can see that this new road is bladed in and goes right past the property, all the way over to Marathon Road. So 
let's keep uh, let's keep the drone footage going, and I'll kind of follow. I'll use Google Earth and kind of show you how or where it's flying, where the drone is flying, so you can kind of see um, see the property and see where it's at. So we're coming in here. This this house over here to the right on the drone footage is new as well, so you're not going to see that on Google Earth. Keep coming. This house to the left you can see on Google Earth right here. Keep coming, keep coming. There you go. Now you can see the mountains here. I'll try and keep the mountains in the same photo for you. So if you look over here in the drone footage, you see this line. It's a road over there. That road is this road right here on Google Earth. Keep flying up. So right now we're flying from the west to the east. So we're coming up to the property here. You see some darker areas in the land. It's darker shrubbery and bushes in the land. And that's where the property is. So that's kind of on the east side of the property. So we're getting pretty close to the property now. Um, there's also a line coming from right to left right here that runs through the property. There you go. So you can see the neighbors over to the southeast right there on the drone footage and then right here on Google Earth. Now it's going to start turning a little bit. So this dark, dark area right here runs through the property. You can see all the neighbors here. You can see that darker line that runs through the property. So now we're looking to the south and southwest down the canyon for um, or towards Turlingo Ranch Lodge. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen now. So let's look at this again. So here are the mountains to the east. Look at it full screen so you can see it a lot better. Mountains to the east, and we're turning over to the south. Looking about southeast right now. Now we're looking to the south. Down the valley. And if you follow, that's Turlingo Ranch Road right there. So if you follow that all the way down the valley for a few miles, you'll get to the lodge, Turlingo Ranch Lodge. We're kind of just looking at the south part of the property. Down the valley, great valley views, mountains all around. You get sunrises over the mountains to the east and sunsets over the mountains to the west. So now we're turning to the west. These are the mountains to the west. So you're looking back at Terlingua Ranch Road right now, turning to the northwest. Those are the neighbors to the northwest right there. Nine Point Mesa in the distance is the big mesa. Now we're looking straight north. So you see a few neighbors to the north also. So the, the, the valley's kind of spotted with uh, with residences, houses, Airbnbs. It's a great area for Airbnbs, super popular for Airbnb rentals. There's kind of what the land looks like. These Again, these darker areas are right in the property. If I pause it right here, you can see right up here in the top left of the screen, you see power lines running in. So those power lines, I'm going to pull over Google Earth real quick, are at the neighbors to the southeast of this property. So they are very close. So let's just, right here, I'll turn on uh, outline first. And let's let's see, the, the power lines, you can see them, you can see their shadows right here on the ground. So the power runs all the way up to here. So power is... Pretty close to the property, 0.12 miles, feet, we're looking at 630 feet, yards, 212 yards, about two football fields. Now we'll fly you back into the drone footage. So now we're, again, we're looking east and we're right over the property right now. Now we're right over the property looking southeast, looking south. southwest so with the lodge being so close you have access very easy access from this property to all the amenities there um, you've got the the cabins that you can rent you've got laundry you've got a pool you've got an airstrip you've got a walk-in freezer uh, you get discounts there 
We've got the Bad Rabbit Cafe for food and drinks. And there's, th I mean, there's literally mountain views in every direction from this property. So I'm gonna do, so speed this video up a little bit. We're just gonna walk through here. So here are the neighbors to the Northwest. Neighbors to the northeast. Access road on the north side of the property. Neighbors to the west. And let's see what other videos we got here. So here's just a quick spin around the property, right over the property. The drone is right over the property right now and it's just spinning around. So looking to the east right now. Now we're looking to the southeast. South. Southwest, west, northwest, well, kind of west now again. So big mountains to the west. Last video here, we're going to look and spin in all the different directions. So you can see a 360 view here. So we're currently looking to the northwest. Well, here we actually started, started looking to the west so it's the it's the late afternoon here so you can see the sun kind of setting over the mountains to the west now we're looking to the northwest you can see nine point mesa there again to the north northwest now we're looking to the north Northeast, East, Southeast, South, Southwest, and we'll spin back to the west here. So now we're looking straight to the west again. Now we're going to fly back over towards Terlingua Ranch Road. The sun there is getting the, the drone propellers on the screen. That's why you can kind of see lines across the screen. Now I'm going to pause this and take it over to another screen real quick and fast forward. All right, so now we're going to look at Terlingo Ranch Road. Nope. Okay, now, now we're going to look at Terlingo Ranch Road. So this is where you enter or turn off Terlingo Ranch Road to the west of the property to get to it. So you can see this, you come right here, follow my cursor, turn left onto this road, turn right, and then you follow that for a little while till you get to the property. So this is flying from east to west back towards Terlingo Ranch Road. So right there's a view down Terlingua Ranch Road. Try and pull it back a little bit so you can see. Right here. So this is looking south towards Terlingua Ranch Lodge again. And yeah, that's about all the drone footage we have. Now let's look at the website real quick. So if you want to look at the website, our website is SavvyLands.com, www.SavvyLands.com, S-A-V-V-Y-L-A-N-D-S.com. Click Land for Sale. Scroll down until you find this property. It is Brewster County, Texas, and it is property ID 27284, 40 acres. So here we are on the listing on our website. Um, any of the any of the underlying items, you can click on them in order to go to something else. So, for 
example, if you want to reserve this property now, the $499 deposit, all you do is click here on the green, and it'll bring you to a secure um, checkout to where you can use a credit or debit card in order to check out to secure this property. Keep going down, we'll give you a bunch of property information, 40 acres, property ID number, legal description, um, street names, Property taxes in 2020 were $290.77. All the property taxes have been paid and there's no back taxes on this property. Association fees in 2021, they were $182.88. 2022, they're about $193.94. And those have all been paid and they're not, there's no back fees either. Uh, each property owner in Tulingo Ranch is responsible for um, annual fees of in 2022, and this video is being recorded, of uh, $193.94. If you want to look at the um, the Property Owners Association website, you can click here and go to poetry.org. Um, the, all their contacts are here. Their main page is seen on the screen right now. You can download all of the documents that they have in the ranch by clicking on library at the top. Uh, they've got tons of maps here that you can also look at. If you click on maps at the top, scrolling down some more. Uh, if you want to visit the property, go ahead and do it anytime. You don't have to make an appointment with us. And we give you GPS coordinates right here. We give you GPS coordinates to all the corners. And we give you driving directions to the property off uh, Highway 118 as well. So again, all these things can be clicked. So if you want to get to the northwest corner of the property, uh, that's the closest to Turlingo Ranch Road. Just click the GPS coordinates and it'll drop a pin on Google Maps for you. So there it is. Um, what else we got? Distances to nearby cities and destinations. We got purchasing this property. So right now we are currently asking $69,999 cash. We'll also finance it uh, with these terms. We provide in-house seller financing with no credit checks. If you are going to purchase this property, please, 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 please read all of this stuff before you make the deposit so you know exactly what you're getting into, how we work, how we sell the properties, and what's going to happen. For example, if you want seller financing, we're going to add 3.5% payment transaction fee onto each payment and then a $20 monthly loan service fee added onto them again added on to each payment as well. That's because we use an automated payment system that charges us, so we have to pass on those fees to you. Uh, you can come down here and click on all these links down here to follow and like us on social media so you never miss another property. This video is going to go right here, so whenever you look at the property listing, you'll see it right here. There's a map to the right of the video that shows you exactly where the property is. And then we have tons of photos of this property and all of our photos are labeled. They're really, I mean, most, when you look at most listings, you're not going to get labels. You don't even know what you're looking at, but right here, here's a view to the Northeast from the property. That's what you're going to see from the property. You can keep clicking through all this stuff. Like for example, we give you a, like all the roads here, we even labeled those and we've got tons of photos on this property. Let's see what else we got. We can show you. West to East View approximate property outlines. You can see we've kind of lit, we've kind of dotted in the, the approximate property outline here so you can kind of see where it is. West to East View. And yeah, you can go ahead and go through all those photos yourself and look through them all. We give you Google Earth images. Um, there's a dumpster really close. So there's trash available as well that you can you can hire the the trash people to come pick up. And yeah, that's about it. So again, this is Matt with Savvy Lands. If you want to, if you want to check out this website, our website, property listing on our website is SavvyLands.com. And uh, up here, you can type that in if you want to. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, sales at SavvyLands.com for our email, or you can call or text us at any time, 832-626-2044. And I hope you like this video. I hope you like the property. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us. We're always willing to help. We want to help. We understand buying land is, can be 
scary at times, but we try and make it as simple as possible, and uh, we'll, we'll walk you through every step of the way. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.